What's up, YouTube fam? Jermaine Boss here. And um, by the title of this video, you guys already know what it is. It's the review of the Air Jordan 6 Infrared. And um, I basically just got this shoe like two minutes ago. And I already opened it, but I really haven't looked at it. I haven't even tried it on. I said I have to review it. My channel has been slacking, so I have to review this joint. Now, it comes in the classic six box. And this is a 12.5. I'm actually mad about this decision because... I heard the sixes fit true to size. I wanted to get a 13, but if you do not know, it was a hassle to get it. Like, first of all, I was not gonna wait online, so I camped online. I mean, I was not gonna wait online, like in a store online, so I camped online, like internet. But yeah, <laughs> enough about that. But um, yeah, I was trying to get it online. I had different tabs open. I had Finish Line, East Bay, Nike. Champs, Foot Locker, but then again, this bit came clutch just like it came clutch from my bread ones, and I was able to get it. I did get a 12.5, which is half a size down from 13, but hey, it's okay, I can squeeze into it. Now, if you open the box, this is what you see. It comes in a classic six box, and when you open it, it has kind of your, you know, trash bag that most sneakers these days be having, I guess. Six has always had that. Now, let me bring out the shoe for you. Now, one thing I noticed, one thing I noticed when I opened up the box was, was the quality of the red. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it through the camera, but the red looks extra bright. Now, I know it's not supposed to be like dark blood red, but this red looks a little bit too, too, too bright. Now, um, I think that's kind of bad for the 2014 release because I don't know what I really liked about the shoe was just the red, the red sole. But you know, um, it looks a little bit orangey. But then again, I still love the shoe. I still fuck with the shoe. It reminds me so much of my sevens, my Raptor sevens, which to this day I regret selling. I regret selling them. I was I was trying to get another shoe and I just looked at my Jordan collection and my shoe collection I was like what shoe can I flip to get this shoe so Raptor 7 just came up I flipped the Raptor 7s and got another shoe which I like but I just wish I never sold the Raptor 7s now now let's get into the shoe now as you can see this looks a lot like the previous sixes that has been released and the only main difference that I have to say is just this red on the hill like it's it's a lot much more brighter but I think as it gets older the red kind of gets dull like if you can see the red if you can see the red on a pool tab it does not look the same it does not look the same now you guys might not pick up what I'm talking about because you're seeing it through a camera but if you did pick up the shoe you can you can be the judge for it yourself now basically it's like any other sixes you know the um suede slash nubak body all black that's the beautiful thing about the shoe you have the perforated holes on the top and on the side of the shoe too then you know the black laces with the jump man on the tongue right here and the pull string right here and i do fuck with the heel tap too you know how it says the air jordan the Jordan at the back logo. I fuck with this shoe heavy now. Icy as hell. I know, right? This shoe's are icy as hell. The funny thing is that these are actually my first Jordans with icy bottoms. So the whole taking care of your shoes experience is going to be different for me because out of all my Jordans, none of them has icy bottoms. So I really don't have to... Cause Apparently, icy bottoms yellow like crazy. Even though they're in the box, they still yellow. So, you know, you have to treat your shoes with sea glow and all that stuff in order for it not to yellow. But, yeah, basically, you know, um, the icy bottom, the Air Jordan logo under, and the air bubbles right there. Now, the bad thing is that I do not have an older version of the Air Jordan 6 Infrared to do a side-by-side -side comparison. But you know, from what I've been seeing and by looking at people's different shoes, it kind of looks the same. It's basically is the same. And from the other reviews I've seen, you know, it's basically much the same. And on the back, it has the, um, it has this tab, this black and red tab. I call this orangey. 
because this looks so orange to me but you know maybe after swearing it or aging you know it starts to darken and you know that's why that's probably why people like the old one you feel me because it's just more you know with the new one they remixing a lot even though it still is the same thing but yeah basically it was i hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving i hope you guys spent time with family happy thanksgiving in not happy thanksgiving in advance in arrears but anyway you guys get what i mean i hope you guys had a wonderful thanksgiving i did have a wonderful thanksgiving myself and it was hell to get these shoes but like my other jordans i did cop them and um yeah it's really much nothing new about the shoe it's, it's a beautiful shoe shit is icy you know it's icy shoe so um what's popping how you doing oh yeah oh yeah i just got my sixes Oh, you got them too? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. That's popping. That's popping. <laughs> now, I'm just messing with you guys. Now, basically, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm so sorry I've been slacking on my videos, but let me get a thousand views on this. If I get a thousand views on this, I will show you guys my whole collection. Now, I'm not the greatest sneakerhead. I'm not into... I'm not... I don't want to say I'm a sneakerhead or anything, but I do have a collection. I do have a collection that is worth looking a second time. If you see it the first time, you will look again and be like, oh, okay. And the thing I like about my collection is that it is it is diverse or versatile, if I must say. Like, I don't just have Jordans. I have Jordans. I have dress shoes. I have running shoes. I have casual shoes. I have Nike. I have Adidas. I have Clarks. I have... Converse, I have different type of things. Thing about me, I like a shoe, I buy it. I do not buy anything because of hype, and I do not buy anything just because people are buying it. I buy something I like, I spend my money on things I like, so that's all, man. If you did not get a chance to pick these up, um, I would say you, you can pick them up on eBay. Now, it's going to be a little bit inflated. The price is going to be inflated, but I think it's worth it. Why do I think it's worth it? The shoes, the shoes released for 185, but after they add tax and shipping and everything, you're paying close to 200. Like me, I paid 210, and this was from the, like this was from when it released, not from, um, not from like buying it from eBay or anything. I got it from when it released. Now on eBay, you see them go for like 260, 270, 280. Which I think if you really like something, an extra $50 is not that bad. Is not that, that bad. The reason why I never cop the shoes is because I have always liked them. But for me to pay $400 to $500 for something that is worth $185 was never an option for me. So, yes, it was never an option for me. So, that's why I never cop them. But immediately, they, I, I, I made sure I had to get them. It was right the day... It was right after Thanksgiving, so you know when you eat so much and all that is on your mind is just to sleep until like 12 the next morning. I set my alarm, set everything, because I knew I had to get these shoes, and I got lucky. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. You do all that. Hit that red button right there. I did there or here. I really do not know. But rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.